Hello everyone, it is Dark Sticker here again. Welcome back for another video. Happy Saturday to all of you. I hope you're all staying safe and I hope you're all keeping well. Today I am playing Murloc Shaman and I'm featuring two different decks. One deck courtesy of Beardy Man and one deck courtesy of Boltzmann. Now, You've seen me publish videos on Beardy Man decks now for quite some time. You're very familiar with Beardy Man. Boltzmann, I've been publishing videos on his decks more recently. Both of these players have one big thing in common. They produce fun off-meta decks that work on the ladder. So we're going to start out with the Beardy Man deck first. That's the deck on the left-hand side. And there is one big key card in this deck that really stands out. Can you spot it? It's about halfway through the deck list. Costs three mana. It's Magic Fin. So a three cost, uh, three attack, four health Murloc. After a friendly Murloc dies, add a random legendary minion to your hand. How interesting. So, Magic Fin. How competitive is this card? I think that's the big question. Is it more of a fun card or is it more of a competitive card? I'd argue it's more fun, but look, fun is what it's all about ultimately. And the potential to just get a hand full of random legendary minions, that's, that's quite interesting. It's quite appealing, at least to me. Um, there are good legendaries and there are bad legendary minions. So anyway, uh, the Beardy Bad deck does have uh, the ability to snowball, but it can it can get through big taunts. You can neutralise big threats with the likes of Plague of Murlocs. Uh, you also have Toxfin as well to get through big taunts. So let's have a look at the deck in action. Lady Bosch versus and, and it is a priest. Hmm. So, Reno Priest is the deck to beat at the moment. Uh, big Priest has seen a big resurgence as well. Okay. Well, isn't that interesting? It's Cthulhu Priest. Oh, quite possibly uh, a Reno Priest just with Cthulhu. Anyway, the idea here is to snowball, if we can. Go super wide on the board, and then draw into everything is awesome, and kill our opponent. That's the plan. So the question here is, do I want to commit the Angler? The Angler, in my mind, is still a pretty broken card. Um, it's got real potential in terms of hand refill. And it has to be removed, pure and simple. You, you just have to kill it, because if you don't, you could just lose the game. Our opponent is hunting here. Oh, there's Shadow Visions, okay. Maybe that will find him a solution to the angler. But probably a solution he cannot play on this turn with zero mana. So we get one turn with the angler. That's pretty good. There's everything is awesome. That's great to see. Okay, we get one murloc to hand. I could have played the sludge slurper. And then maybe I'd have had another murloc. That I could have played. But I think the Colite Seer was better purely just to buff the health. It was a good leveraging of our health. Okay, this is a, a pretty cool board here. The, um, the Spirit Walker could net us some value. That's quite a bit of value. There's Scargill. Thinking about Magic Finn here. 
But um, are there better options? It's three out of my four mana available. Am I just better off playing one drops? Oh, this is good. We're going wide here. We're going super wide on this board. And the aim is to get everything is awesome down to zero. Now, if I played Magic Finn, that wouldn't have been possible. So, this is just better. Okay, so in before Psychic Scream on turn 7. Oh, he top decked that. Of course he did. Of course he did. Oh, wow. The Angler survives. Uh, so, is this just lethal? Uh, so, Murkai... How much damage is that? So that's nine? Nine from the Murkai. Am I just overthinking this? That's nine with the Murkai. Oh, but we can add the Murloc. Okay, that's fine. We can do math. We can do math. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Murkai confused me for a moment there, but it's all good. Oh, he wants to be our friend! Interesting. So that was the Beardy Man deck, a really, really fun deck to play. Unfortunately, I didn't get an opportunity to get value from Magic Finn in the games that I played with the deck. I know Beardy Man has had plenty of value from Magic Finn, and I'm determined to get more value from it, so I'll continue playing the deck. One thing that I did notice is that I struggled against Agro Druid. Uh, after the Priest game, I had four games in a row against Agro Druid, and I didn't draw any one drops in those games. How bizarre. I just kept drawing twos and threes um, at the start of the game, and I got overwhelmed on the board and just died. So yes, if you're facing aggro, you do need a good early curve. That is absolutely essential. Just my bad luck, it didn't happen. So let's shift gears to the Boltzmann deck, the deck on the right hand side, and you'll notice the composition of the deck is slightly different. Uh, Maelstrom Portal is in the deck, I think good against Agro Druid, good, against, good at clearing the board, uh, tidying up the board I think is a, a, a better way of putting it. The other interesting inclusion in the Boltzmann deck is um, Voracious Reader. Now that's a card you'd expect to see in the likes of Agro Druid, um, but no, it's included here as well because it's card draw, and, you know, if you're curving out well and playing all of your threats onto the board, you're going to run out of resources quite quickly. Voracious Reader solves that problem. Um, I like the inclusion of Call in the Finishes in the Boltzmann deck. It allows you to go wide on the board. It cheapens everything is awesome if it's in your hand, so that's pretty sweet. Um, in the Boltzmann deck, there is no Magic Fin. I think on Twitter, uh, Boltzmann... Uh, made the argument that Magic Fin is more of a fun card than a competitive card as such, uh, and so we prefer not to include it. That's absolutely fair enough. So we're going to have a look at two different games of the Boltzmann deck in action on the Wild Moan Ladder. And uh, starting out... Oh, it's another priest, of course. So no one drop in hand. But we have a zero cost minion we can play. Good old tiny Finn. The end is coming. And the end is coming. Maybe not. Maybe not. How amazing is that? A tiny fin with poison. I don't think I've ever done this before. I don't think I've ever had the privilege of playing a tiny fin with poison. Palm reading. 
pretty good card that, especially in Big Priest. Works incredibly well. So I'm just going for max board presence here. We didn't get any value from the Angler on that turn, but it's fine. May demand an answer here and now. He may ignore the Tiny Finn as a result, if he wants to deal with the Angler. I hope you like my invention. No? Heal your face and pass? No? Spirit Dash? Sure. So Murkai or the Megasaur or the health buff? I think the health buff is better here. This is amazing. That's even better. Yeah, I think the health buff was reasonable in case there's more AoE to come. Is someone injured? Is someone injured? Yes, your face is about to be injured. A desperation dirty rat. It's not going to help him. Because we have two poisonous murlocs. Uh, we need to make room on the board. Maybe I was hoping for attack uh, from the Megasaur, the attack buff. But this will do. I'm just trying to push as much damage as I can, as quickly as possible. He could have Reno here. No. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, that's something. Is that just lethal? Yeah, that's overkill. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, joining this game in progress. We're going up against a hunter. And you can see from the deck on the left-hand side. This is... A very interesting mech hunter. Now I thought mech decks had kind of died out. Um, but this hunter, he got off to a really good start with his deck. But we were able to go wide on the board with our Murlocs and contest the mechs. Now that's painful. You have to read this one. But he's trading. That's the key thing. So he has the Voracious Reader, as do we. So, that's not lethal, as far as we can count. So we trade. Nothing wrong with trading. I really don't want to take any face damage. Uh, which is why I'm doing it in the way that I've done it. Take 
I'm still conscious that a hunter can probably come out with burst from nowhere. So I just want to keep my face as healthy as possible. Take zero risks and play it really safe. Oh gosh. Well, that's just lethal. Serious overkill here. Okay, so hopefully this video gave you a little bit of a taste of both decks, the Beardy Man deck and the Boltzmann deck. Um, one thing that both of these decks do very well is Bully Priest, particularly Reno Priest. I've not faced Big Priest with either of these decks, but um, I faced a number of Reno Priests and the potential to snowball early is often your key to victory and is often enough to get the victory to get the win um, what you're conscious of is the likes of psychic scream that can really ruin your day you know it resets the board pretty much and you've then got to repopulate that board it gives the priest a chance to recover and to heal up and to do other weird shenanigans but no uh, win rate against priest with both decks very very positive uh, agra druid it's certainly more of a challenge um, I think the Boltzmann deck may be better equipped to deal with Agra Druid because of the likes of Maelstrom Portal. Um, but yes, yeah, so against Agra Druid, you just need a really, really good early curve if you were to have any chance of surviving. So, if you have any questions about how to play either of these decks, then please leave a question in the comment section below, and I'm sure both Beardy Man and Boltzmann would be happy to answer your questions. Um, thank you very much for joining me for this video. Thank you very much for your time. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all again very soon, as always, for more Wild Mode Fun.